holiday bargain. I love the craziness. I love all the pushing and shoving. We just love it. It's great. We hit the stores for Black Friday. For some, the day after Thanksgiving isn't about finding the perfect sale, but rather the perfect tree. There's nothing easy about raising Christmas trees. What keeps this man on the tree lots year after year? Plus, a rivalry renewed. Notre Dame heads to California to take on USC. Jeff Jeffers has a preview live from Los Angeles. Whether you're getting ready to welcome a new baby into your home or sending your older child off to college, The Natural Way has everything you need to decorate your child's room. The Natural Way, fine furnishings for baby and child's room, located on Jefferson next to Buttons and Bows. Right here in the corner of Great Benilis Road's Curly GM Giant Used Car Mega Center, nobody sells more used cars than we do. Look at this right here. This is a 2004 Cadillac CTS. It's loaded with all the bells and whistles, full leather, everything, only $23,991. Let's roll that one through. Next up, we got a 2005 Buick LeSabre. We sell a ton of these things. Great full-size vehicle, over 30 miles the gallon on the highway. And you can take it home for only $14,991. We're here tonight until 8 o'clock, and tomorrow we open up at 9 o'clock. Come see us. Everyone says shop now, pay later. <laughs> Why not pay much, much later? With our pay nothing until 2009 offer, Furniture Row Shopping Center is out to make your holiday shopping much more comfortable. Get your home ready and ease your mind with no payments, no interest, and no down payment. Pay absolutely nothing until 2009. Plus, get great prices backed by our 200% guaranteed lowest price pledge. Hurry into Furniture Row Shopping Center for the holidays. Our pay nothing until 2009 offer ends soon. You can make a difference for Michiana children. Support Toys for Tots. Simply bring a new unwrapped toy to any of these participating Centennial Wireless locations. Don't let a child be left off Santa's list. Please join Centennial Wireless and help Toys for Tots. From WNDU TV, Channel 16, South Bend, this is New Center 16 at 6. The mad rush of the holiday shopping season begins. News Chopper 16 captured these long lines today on Grape Road in Mishawaka as bargain hungry shoppers brave the crowds to score the juiciest deals. Good evening, I'm Maureen McFadden. And I'm Terry McFadden. Today is known as Black Friday, and for some that means waking up before dawn and going after those early bird holiday sales. News Center 16's Joel Skipper was among the early risers this morning, one of the busiest shopping days of the year. They lined up through the parking lot, waiting, stalking the store's front doors. Then it was time. It's just after 5 a.m. Hundreds of people are rolling into Kohl's right now. This is what they're searching for. This is the hot item over here, a portable DVD player on sale for $49.99. Some South Bend Kohl's shoppers began lining up at 1 a.m. to make sure they get what they're here for, the DVD player, a coveted item. I got here 415 and I got two DVD players and a V-Smile. and. Christmas shopping for my kids is done. However, the Kohl's line was nothing compared to the Target line. Snaking through the parking lot and around the store, more than 800 people rushed in at 6 a.m., grabbed carts, and began stacking them high. The electronics section looked like a mob scene, literally causing some people to shop till they dropped. Very prosperous, yes, I believe so. Yeah, we're gonna we get, saved a lot of money so far. And probably get like 80 percent of our shopping done in one yeah. day, so. It's gotta be a good feeling. A little weight off your shoulders? Great yeah. Feeling. For him, at least. I love the shop. I could do it every day. I can't, I can't stand it. I'm just here as a chaperone. Yeah. Okay. Good. After tackling the Best Buy parking lot, an amazing feat in itself, we found the store to be just as crowded. It's all about TVs, iPods, DVDs, and video games. We love it. I love the craziness. I love all the pushing and shoving. We just love it. It's great. That's the Christmas spirit. Our last stop, University Park Mall. With bags in hand and cash burning holes in their pockets, there's a feeling of relief and accomplishment at least until the bill comes next month. Oh, I'm almost done with my shopping, and this is my favorite day of the year, so I get excited a week before the day, and I can't, it's countdown. It's favorite day of the year. In South Bend, Joel Skipper, New Center 16. And when you're out shopping this holiday season, we hope you'll remember to pick something up for Michiana's children in need. The Marine Corps kicked off their annual Toys for Tots campaign today at University Park Mall in Mishawaka. The Marines say they look forward to the event every year, knowing the smiles it brings to kids' faces. If you'd like to donate to the Toys for Tots campaign, the Marines will be at UP Mall for the next few weeks collecting toys. And we'd also like to remind you of our annual Toys for Tots drive next Saturday, December 2nd. It's from 7 to 10 during New Center 16 Saturday morning. Morning, we'll have crews at four locations throughout Michiana, including Elkhart, Benton Harbor, Warsaw, and our WNDU studios in South Bend. 
Well, besides hitting the stores before dawn, there are a few other traditions associated with the day after Thanksgiving. Shopping for and buying a Christmas tree may be one of them. New Center 16's Robert Morelli uh, visited with one tree seller, and he's here to explain a bit about the business, Robert. Uh, Terry and Maureen, no sooner have we gotten past Thanksgiving than we focus our attention on the next major holiday, Christmas, which is just fine with Earl Brown. He's the guy who sells Christmas trees at Town & Country Shopping Center in Mishawaka. He's been set up there since Tuesday, but today was unloading 1,000 trees from his Michigan farm. Earl and his wife have been the, in the Christmas tree business for 33 years. I wanted to live where I wanted to live, you know, in that area, and that's basically, it was big into Christmas trees. And, and uh, I just kind of fell into it, really. Earl Brown puts up with some discomfort in his business. No, not getting stuck by the pine needles. He's actually allergic to the smell of Douglas fir, which is kind of tough for a guy that yeah. raises, <laughs> raises trees for a living. I'd it's say. It's kind of like being a milk and a cow and being allergic to milk, I no suppose. Kidding. Yeah. No, no kidding. Yeah. All right, Robert, thanks a lot. Well, another tradition the day after Thanksgiving, working off the Thanksgiving meal. At Pinnacle Athletic Club in Mishawaka today, business was up about 20% over a normal Friday, from stationary bikes to weightlifting to racquetball. People are doing what they can to maintain or get back into shape. What motivates them? Well, I think uh, what they ate the day before. Blame the turkey, blame the stuffing. Yes, we can always talk bad about that, but today's the day we start doing something good about it. Bradford says the change in the weather also helps motivate people to step up their workout. Good evening, I'm Mike Hoffman, live in the Storm Team 16 Weather Lab. We continue to see some very nice weather around here, obviously, for this holiday weekend will continue to be mainly dry and mild for the travel forecast tomorrow. A few showers in Florida, snow and coastal rain out in the northwestern parts of the country, and that'll continue on into Sunday as well. In fact, a big storm coming into the west coast on Sunday. A few scattered showers just off to our northwest, but we should stay dry and mild for now. We'll have our football forecast and the big changes in the 7A forecast coming up in a few minutes. New Center 16, your home for Notre Dame football. The Fighting Irish wrap up the regular season tomorrow in California, taking on rival USC. The Irish are ranked fifth in the BCS. Trojans are number three. Jeff Jeffers live in L.A. tonight. He joins us now with more. Jeff? Thanks a lot, Mac. It is an absolutely gorgeous day here in Southern California. We are on the south end of the L.A. Memorial Coliseum. And just over those stands, that is where stands Magala took in the interception of Rodney Pete in 88. It's where John Carney kicked a game-winning field goal in 86 and where Michael Harper scored without the ball in 1982. But I digress. Great teams, great players, and great coaches have marked this series. Newt Rockney and Howard Jones. John McKay and Eric Parsegian. John Robinson versus both Dan Devine and Lou Holtz. And now, Pete Carroll and Charlie Weiss. That pair met for the first time last October. USC won 34-31 in a game that is likely to never be forgotten. And Charlie Weiss has not changed his perception of that game from the moment it ended until now. That was still a miserable game. <laughs> and will always be a miserable game. Still got a little bit of a taste in the mouth from last year. You know, when you watch film and you see, you know, you watch a little bit of, of the game from last year. And, you know, when you replay that game, you know, that ending, you know, a thousand different ways, it definitely, you know, gets at you a little bit. and. You know, you practice harder and you get ready for the game. You just you just think about it, you know, but it was last year and, you know, some of the same players are back. So you kind of, you know, remember a lot of the things that they did and how you maybe want to approach. If Notre Dame is to win on Saturday, the Irish will have to stop a Trojan home winning streak that stands at 32. Pete Carroll has never lost in November while coaching at SC. And the last two times Carroll faced the Irish in L.A., the combined score was 85-23 Troy. And in the last 57 games, USC is a mind-boggling 53-4. and four. Pretty scary in itself, the record of USC here at the Coliseum and overall. Now coming up in sports, we'll hear from Irish quarterback Brady Quinn. Terry Mill. All right, and uh, Jeff, that horse, that drives Irish fans oh. crazy. Yes, Traveler uh, usually <laughs> uh, starts out very, very refreshed at the beginning of the game, but who knows? if he'll be dog-tired at the uh, or horse-tired at the end of the game 
But uh, you hate that horse, don't you? <laughs> yes, kind of like uh, uh, Flounder did in Blue Animal Blue. House. Yeah, Brother Blue Tarski. Yes. Brother no. D-Day, Brother Bluto. We wouldn't go that far, however, to get rid of the horse. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> Well, it's also a big weekend for the Concord High School football team. The undefeated Minutemen are headed to Indy for the state 4A football title. Folks in Elkhart County are making sure the team knows they have the community's support. Several local businesses have decorated their storefront signs in honor of the Minutemen. Well, we're real excited about uh, the advancement of Concord, being able to go to state. Um, and most of our customers are from this area, so we're very much supportive of them. And we hope they win and uh, make us proud. The Minutemen will take on the Fighting Irish of Cathedral High School tomorrow at 3.30 in the RCA Dome. Coach Tim Dawson says a big reason the team is playing in the championship game, the hard work of the upperclassmen. More to come on New Center 16. A 23-hour standoff comes to a tragic end in Chicago. We'll tell you what happened. An aluminum plant goes up in flames, sending smoke across the Indiana toll road. What firefighters say may have caused the fire. And here comes Santa Claus. You want to sit on Santa's lap? Dozens of kids line up in Elkhart to give their wish list to old St. Nick. This is New Center 16 at 6. New Center 16. Coverage you can count on. I wonder who it's for. Could be anyone. My favorite color. What a coincidence. I did ask for something shiny. It's that time of year again when you'll find exceptional values on your favorite Lexus vehicles. Well, I have some things to do inside. Me too. See Lexus of Mishawaka. American Freight new super warehouse located at 1217 East McKinley in Mishawaka. Seven piece living room packages from only $298. You get a sofa, love seat, coffee table, two end tables, and two designer lamps, all for $298. Free layaway, same day delivery. Old location closed forever. American Freight new super warehouse, 1217 East McKinley, Mishawaka, 252-5500. That's 252-5500. This week at Martin's, it's Centerpiece Savings. Our family grade A all-natural young turkey, just 57 cents a pound through November 22nd. Save 42 cents a pound. Then through Sunday, select Lay's potato chips, buy one, get one free, save $3.49. Select bunny bread, $1.19, save up to $1.20. Select butterball turkey breast in the deli, $5.29 a pound, save 90 cents a pound. Add it up, you just save $9.79. Only at your neighborhood Martin's. Allied Physician Surgery Center is proud to provide closed captioning for New Center 16. New information tonight on a body found along the side of a Berrien County Road. On Tuesday, the body of a white male was found in the 4000 block of Community Hall Road in New Buffalo Township. Police have identified the body as that of 39 year old Stephen Richardson. His last known address was in St. John, Indiana. Michigan State Police Forensic Labs investigating. If you have any information, you're asked to call police at 269-465-3111. And two people are dead after a 23-hour standoff in Chicago. Police say the gunman took his neighbor hostage early yesterday morning in a south side apartment building. Around 1 this morning, police heard gunshots and entered the building. Officials say the man shot the hostage before turning the gun on himself. Their names haven't been released, but both were in their 20s. During the standoff, the gunman and hostages' families were at the apartment building trying to help police negotiators. At this time, police aren't saying what triggered the standoff. Massive fire today at a Hammond aluminum plant. Firefighters were called to the Jupiter Aluminum Corporation around 545 this morning. Three aerial water trucks helped fight the blaze, which covered an area about the size of two football fields. The fire also sent plumes of smoke rolling over the Indiana toll road. The cause of the fire is under investigation, but officials say it may have started by an overfilled furnace. The plant makes extruded aluminum rod coils, plates, sheets, and foil, and luckily, no one was hurt. And you hate to see yeah. somebody fighting a fire like that in freezing temperatures, so if nothing else, the firefighters got a bit of a break weather-wise. And we're going to continue to see that uh, for the next few days anyway, but anytime you can see the big changes coming from a distance in the seven-day forecast, look at the drop-off later next week. We'll talk more about that coming up. Also, we will check out the football forecast and the record book today shows we almost hit 60 degrees.
NBC Monday starts with an all-new deal or no deal. But will the last three cases bring rags or riches? Oh, my God. Then on Heroes, the questions surrounding their powers will be answered. You found them. And the face of evil finally revealed. This is not going to end. And on Studio 60, the cast is dropping. You fainted in drag, and we're probably not going to let you forget that. Plus a Studio 60 bombshell. All new Deal or No Deal, Heroes, and Studio 60, Monday on NBC. Come home to the Village Shops this holiday season. Christmas decor, furniture, lamps, gifts, and everything for your home. Department 56 lovers, the Village Shops are one of the largest gold key stores in Indiana. Come see what's new. Looking for that perfect Vera Bradley handbag, tote, or accessory? The Village Shops features the largest selection in the area. Let us welcome you, warm you, and inspire you. The Village Shops in historic downtown New Carlisle. Why get off your couch tonight and come down to the GM Giant? I'm going to give you a couple of great reasons like this one. A 2006 Chrysler Town & Country minivan. It's one of the best vans anywhere. You got the stow and go seating. Everybody wants one, and you can get it for only $19,991. Let's roll it through. Next up, we got a 2004 Elantra. You say you want some low price, got power, everything. This is it. Take it home tonight for only $81.91 from the Girly Leap GM Giant. Come right down here. We're open until 8 o'clock tonight or come in tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. We're ready for you. I'm Dr. Morris, and I'm a breast surgeon at the Center for Cancer Care. Every woman has a one in eight chance of developing breast cancer in her lifetime. That means I'm at risk just like you. Regular screenings can detect a tumor up to two years before you can feel a lump. You don't have to be a doctor to know the importance of early detection. So get a mammogram. It's 10 minutes that could save your life. Center for Cancer Care. True care. Storm Team 16 coverage is sponsored by Tom Naquin Nissan. Think Nissan, think Naquin. From the area's most experienced weather team, Chief Meteorologist Mike Hoffman has your Storm Team 16 forecast. And even though we're having some very warm weather for this time of the year, it's even warmer out at USC, obviously. Los Angeles, partly cloudy skies tomorrow evening for the kickoff at 8 p.m. That's our time. That's uh, 5 p.m out in LA, 61 degrees falling to 54, so very nice weather there. Even warmer in Honolulu where Purdue takes on Hawaii at 11 p.m. our time, that's 6 p.m. their time. Sun will also have just set there, partly cloudy skies. And believe it or not, a 10% chance for a brief shower there, but who cares if it's almost 80 degrees. Let's go outside to what our Skyview 16 camera looks like. Out of Elkhart, 52 degrees right now. We're seeing mostly clear skies, so temperatures are going to fall off pretty rapidly again this evening. Checking out South Bend uh, Regional Airport, you can see 52 degrees as well. Rest of the numbers at Bendix Field show the humidity is only 36%. Very dry air, winds are southerly at 8 miles per hour. Here are some of the temperatures around the rest of our area from our weather spotters. And you can see 49, Cassopolis, both Sturgis and Topeka at 48. Warsaw, you're at 52. Winnemac, 53. And Laporte right now, 52 degrees. Live Super Doppler 16, 75 mile range. Uh, again, I think I said this earlier in the week, we could have just turned our radar off this week because nothing is happening, not going to happen as we head through the weekend either. Here's the Doppler network and you can see first thing this morning, still a few showers just southeast of Boston. Those quickly uh, moved away. The only action around the rest of the country, a little bit of rain and mountain snows out in the northwest and you can see even that's pretty unimpressive right now on the on the uh, radar, but uh, things are going to change out there as well over the next couple of days. Satellite picture shows the high thin clouds that continue to flow our way, just occasionally dimming the sunshine somewhat, and that's about it. Now this area is going to see an increase in clouds over the next couple of days though. Here's what the future looks like with 16 future tracks. High pressure that uh, was dominating our weather still is to a point, but it's in western Pennsylvania. We'll continue to move eastward. Cold front's going to come our way and then stall out as we head through the next 24 hours. Watch the time below the line because most of the clouds during the day tomorrow stay to our northwest, but I think we'll see some clouds, so partly sunny skies expected. Partly sunny on into Sunday as well as everything stays off to our northwest for now. Here's my Storm Team 16 forecast for all of Michiana for tonight. Clear to partly cloudy and not as cold tonight. Low temperature of 35. Tomorrow then we'll see a partly sunny skies. A mild afternoon high of 57. Tomorrow night partly cloudy and chilly with a low back down to 40. And the seven day forecast Sunday another nice day. Partly sunny 57. There are some more clouds and chances for showers coming next week. Strong cold front comes through Wednesday. 
our low Wednesday night, Thursday of 30, and that'll be the high on Thursday. I think temperatures will fall into the 20s on Thursday. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a 30, 40 degree plunge Oof. in a day there. Lake effect snow possible as well. Okay, thanks a lot. A little nicer uh, in L.A., I suppose, huh? <laughs> a little bit. Notre Dame and uh, USC set to kick off in roughly uh, 24 hours. Jeff Jeffers is live in L.A. We'll check in with him once again after the break. Purchasing a Tom Naquin pre-owned vehicle has never been any easier. What do you mean, Greg? At Tom Naquin, Zero Down delivers. New Chevrolets and Cadillacs with $10,000 off. Zero Down delivers. Or budget lot specials starting at only $9.95. Keep your cash and drive home today. Only at Tom Naquin's pre-owned Supercenter, where... Zero Down delivers. Tom Naquin's pre-owned Supercenter, just 13 minutes east of Grape Road, on McKinley to Elkhart. The combination of a PET scan with a CT scan was a breakthrough technology for detecting cancer faster and better. Lakeland was the first in Michiana to have PET CT technology. Medical excellence, compassionate care. Lakeland Healthcare. Shop home and office furniture in Goshen and get 50% off list on all sofas, love seats, recliners, dinettes, bunk beds, futons, curio cabinets, office chairs, plus no payments, no interest until January 2008. Home and office furniture in Goshen has a huge selection of office furniture and chairs, bedroom sets, and entertainment centers. The savings are going on now, including no interest and no payments till January 2008 at Home and Office Furniture on US 33 in Goshen, three miles south of the US 20 bypass and the Concord Mall. Right now at Don Meadow Pontiac, we've got hot deals on cool cars. And all new 07 Don Meadow Pontiacs come with the GM 5-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Like this new 07 Pontiac G5 with a base price of only $14,995. Or drive a new 07 Pontiac G6 for only $199 a month. That's just $199 a month. And all these vehicles are rated at 33 miles per gallon or better. So for hot deals on cool cars, come to Don Meadow Pontiac in South Bend. Get a new level of freedom with a Braun Enervan from Superior Van and Mobility. These fully equipped Chrysler, GM, and Toyota vans are safe, easy to drive, and in stock now. Visit today or go online to superiorvan.com. New Center 16, your home for Notre Dame football. Now, here's Jim McAteer. Hi there, Notre Dame and USC. Countdown to kickoff a little more than 24 hours away. The Irish, of course, arrived in L.A. safe and sound yesterday after a traditional Thanksgiving meal. So did our Jeff Jeffers, and he joins us uh, once again live. Hey, Jeff, how you doing? I'm doing well, Jim. We're right outside the L.A. Coliseum, the south end, the Paris style end of this famous sports landmark. Since Brady Quinn has been the starter for Notre Dame at quarterback, he's faced two USC quarterbacks who have clinched the Heisman with their performances against the Irish, Carson Palmer and Matt Leiner. Now, Brady Quinn is a long shot to win the Heisman for 2006, but I guarantee you he would trade even a chance for that trophy for a victory Saturday evening in the Coliseum. Quinn was helping lead the cheers after the victory last Saturday over Army. There would be nothing better for one of the greatest quarterbacks in the history of Notre Dame football to end his final regular season with a win over his school's number one rival. It's, I mean, that's pretty big uh, as far as where it comes in to motivate me. You know, I, I think since I've been here, um, there's a lot of things you want to accomplish. And, you know, when, when I first got here, that was something that I never thought would really come. It, it really come to my mind at this point in my career. So uh, going, into the, going into this game, that's definitely one of the things that's on my mind. And that's, that's been helping me, um, you know, kind of stay, you know, motivated. And if you think Brady's treating this game like all the rest, He's had a little reminder in his house, sort of a little Trojan post-it note. My uncle got me the hat the day I signed a lever in tent to Notre Dame. And uh, at first I was kind of confused because I was like, you know, I didn't sign with USC. Uh, but then he told me, you know, uh, to always look at the hat, you know, being one of our biggest rivals. And just remember, you know, every day when you're preparing to go there that there's someone out there always, you know, looking, you know, to be you. Every day they're trying to get better than you. And, and that's what you're going to face, you know, every day of the next four, you know, four years when you go play there. As a knowledgeable Notre Dame fan told me just a few moments ago, for the first time since 2002, Notre Dame will not be facing the best quarterback in the nation in this series. The men of Troy will be facing the best quarterback in the nation Saturday evening. Jim. 
Hey, Jeff, what's the, the buzz out there with the, the L.A. media and the fans? I mean, is this a done deal? Uh, do they expect, hey, you know what, no problem, USC wins the next two and uh, they'll play in Glendale? Well, considering Arkansas lost today to LSU, the, the buzz here is, first of all, I don't think there are too many people at all, certainly around here, giving Notre Dame any chance at all to even be close in this game. They think it's Trojan time that they'll mop up the Coliseum floor with the Irish and finish off UCLA and go against Ohio State for the national title. And you know, uh, Brady Quinn will certainly have something to say about that, huh? Well, with the Irish fans would certainly yeah. hope so, but I think it also falls on the defense. Yep. All right, thanks, Jeff. We'll see you at 11. Jeff Jumpers okay. live in Very L.A. Good. So how do you think the Irish will do? Well, check out my blog at WNU.com. Let me know the score, the prediction. Love to hear your thoughts. Well, college football news today, as expected. University of Miami football coach Larry Coker fired after a tumultuous season with the Canes. The move comes less than 12 hours after our Miami upset BC, moving to 6-6, six and six, becoming bowl eligible. Coker will coach the Canes in that bowl game if they are invited. The season included the shooting death of defensive lineman Brian Pata, a sideline clearing brawl with Florida International and a litany of injuries. Coker, 12 losses over his last three seasons, no conference titles or a major bowl.